And we are live. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Hello. Uh, that's <laughs> Tanya. And I'm James. And that is Pixel causing trouble Jumping over by on the mixer. Me on the mixer. <laughs> as per usual. Uh, uh, he's bad cat. cat. And uh, this is Atari. This down is down Atari the here. Yeah, you can kind of see him popping up on the bottom. Yeah. Welcome. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. Say goodbye. <laughs> he's just sometimes. There's such trouble. Sometimes he's okay. Sometimes he's in a mischievous mood. Okay. Welcome everyone. Hello. Welcome Atari Spot. I suppose to John von Neumann and everybody else in the chat watching live. Um, and we're still riding the high <laughs> from Portland. <laughs> yes retro gaming expo mm -hmm. um just released the interview with john shampoo mm. a couple hours ago mm. people are loving it good so we go through um his new ma new game mappy talk about that we talk about his work in progress wizard of war that was also there mm. as well um so we talked with him for about a half an hour it's up on youtube and twitch Mm -hmm. um, so you can check that out and he talks we talk about um, all of his past games the current ones that we were able to play at uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo at the Atari Age booth and uh, some ideas he has for new games um, so it is uh, a fun interview mm -hmm. and I have two more interviews to post um, that I did with um, Al from Atari Age and also Dan Kitchen from Tiki Games about his two upcoming games, which are Gold Rush and uh, Bon Voyage. That's the name of it. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, and John Von Neumann is watching with his cats excellent. as well. That yes. is excellent. Yeah. Lord we Meow like Meowington the Lord first. Lord Meowington the first. <laughs> well, as long as the cats behave, yeah. they're all good. Yeah. We have we're we're perfectly happy having either human or animal. Uh, of viewers, you know, yes. at the <laughs> it's totally fine for the live Everybody stream. counts, yes, you know. Everyone, it, it's all inclusive. Yes. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say I would love to. I, I do have to watch your interview because even though I was there and I was manning yes. the camera, it was so loud I could not hear a word of the interview because yeah. you had a mic. Yes. And you were fairly far away from me, so I sat there with the camera just. And there's I couldn't hear a thing. Thousands, thousands of people <laughs> thousands milling of around. Thousands of people walking around. An people running in front of the camera yeah. constantly. Pe people um, playing the arcade games in behind us. In behind, yeah, yeah. It was it was pretty cool actually. It was pretty loud, but the um, audio worked really well with the microphone. So. Oh good. Okay, yeah. I'm glad you you got that because I couldn't unfortunately <laughs> hear a thing where I was. But uh, understandable. Yeah, yes. it was it like, was a busy busy event. Like it, you, there were so many people there. Yeah. Like it, it's, it's pretty You were big. talking with uh, John's brother. Uh, a little bit, yeah. And yeah. I couldn't hear a thing. Oh, and normally oh. you'd have to be completely silent during recording. Oh, uh, yeah. Like filming. Yeah. But it's like, no, you're chatting away with him and it's totally well, fine. And... We weren't we weren't being super loud or anything, but yeah. but I couldn't I knew you couldn't hear me cuz I couldn't hear you. <laughs> right. You know, it was just it was uh, it's a big open space, but it was it Thousands was very of cool. Yes. Thousands. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's always fun going event. there. Yeah. Just to play the arcade games and um, well, yeah, and the shopping. <laughs> yeah, and the shopping. <laughs> and we played uh, Wizard of War in the arcade, which I'd never played before. Yes. So I was able to compare it mm -hmm. to the Atari 2600 port that John's working on. Nice. And it is, it's exactly the same. Yeah, it I'm is. It really so is. Amazed. It's so amazed. Like it's the amazing. screens look the same. The play is the same. Yeah. He really nailed it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've never played Mappy in the arcade yet, and I didn't see it there. Or else no, I would have played it. No, and it sounds like it wasn't an extremely common game. No, so. so maybe it'll be there next year. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'd like to play it in the arcade at some point. But mm -hmm. um, So we're playing three games today. Um, first one's Peril. It's brand new, mm -hmm. um, like a week old. Uh, it's made by John Von Neumann, who is Hi, John. <laughs> in the chat. It's yep. always awesome when they can come in and join the chat because they can give hints and and tips and help us you just, play you your just game. Want, you just want tips. So. Yeah, mostly tips. It's like, why are we dying? Yeah. Constantly dying. Yeah. The second uh, one is Reflex. Mm. And it's a... Sounds like an 80s song. Yeah. Well, you know, it's always throwbacks with Atari games. Yeah, 
Um, mm -hmm. It is kind of a circular breakout game. Oh, cool. Where you're hitting blocks in the middle and your paddle is around the outside and it's okay. two player. Oh. So each of us are will we have a paddle. against each other or are we against mm. the, the, well, the game? We're probably if cooperative. I haven't cooperative. played the two okay. player because yeah. how is it going to know who lost the ball? Because you can move all the way around. But I haven't played it two players, so maybe it is competitive. Okay. Maybe it is cooperative. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> and the last one is Space Cactus Canyon, which I picked up on cartridge. Oh, yeah. In box. It looked really, yeah. Very fun. Very cool. Um, so we'll be playing that one as well. Mm -hmm. And that came out last year, um, but we didn't go last year to, to the Retro uh, Expo, so mm -hmm. I couldn't pick it up last year. But now I have it. Um I want to thank all the uh, Twitch subscribers, too, who contribute to the show, mm -hmm. uh, many of which who are in the channel. Uh, Atari Spot, uh, mm -hmm. Tasty Sandwich, Gretem's Ground Trooper, I supposed is mm -hmm. there. Uh, Jeffrey2123, Mr. Fix, who is usually here, um, but not right now. No. Uh, Retro Happy <laughs> Hour and Tiki Dan K, who is Dan Kitchen, yeah. who also supports the show. Very wonderful, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, if you want to support the show, um, you can do it for free through uh, Twitch subscription. Uh, um, through Prime. Twitch, Twitch yeah, Prime. Amazon Prime. If you're a Prime member and yeah. you are, you're not already subscribed to someone else. Yes. Um, you can subscribe and, once a month um, for free once to a somebody. Once a month for free to so someone. So why not make it up? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I did have a poll question, but I didn't type it in. Um, I may do that. Well, when we get into the playing. gaming, then you can you can get that. Yeah, up. I'll get yeah. that up because it's very yeah. quick to make one. Yeah. Um, so I'll uh, get that going during the first game while you're playing. Mm -hmm. um, so we have some uh, news and feedback. Of course, the news of I released the the interview, so you can go watch that mm -hmm. after the show. Um, on on YouTube, on the YouTube channel, just yeah. type in Zero Page Homebrew. And I got a message on the Atari Age forums uh, from, <laughs> can you say that name? <laughs> it's definitely uh, Northern European. North I, I would. Western uh, European. Lila Pogen. Can Pan? Can Pian? I, 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 yeah, I, I don't know. Swedish, Norwegian something uh yeah yeah lil lila podge can pay you know, you know who i'm talking about so mm. oh thank you retro happy hour yeah. there we go <laughs> thank awesome. you very much for thank the you. twitch prime subscription yeah for the second month in a row i guess you did i say your name out retro happy hour? yes so yours just ran out and thank you for resubscribing mm -hmm. um so anyway i got feedback from uh lila let's just shorten it up <laughs> uh love the channel and just found out about splorf and ball blazer among other games because of it so he's watching some older ones mm. so we played those a while back not splorf because that hasn't come out yet but uh i have to check on that see what's going on with that mm. um uh was just going to write and tell you to get a crt and point a cam at it so we can see what the games actually look like then i remembered that that has nothing to do with interlacing <laughs> Just frame rate. Is there a 60 frames per, per uh, fix 60 frames per second option? Yes, there is. I never thought of changing to 60 frames per second, and every game game that flickers have lo has looked like crap. Yeah. You should probably tell the viewers to do that because I can't be the only dumbass watching. <laughs> Thanks. Keep it up. Um, yes, we do broadcast in 60 frames a second. Um, and I went to great lengths to make sure that we did broadcast at 60 frames a second because all the games are at 60 frames a second. Gotcha. Unless it's really old school where there's no flicker, but a lot of homebrew use in, uses flicker to do very special um, effects, add more colors, add more characters per line. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this on YouTube or even watching it on Twitch, make sure you're watching it with the option set to 60 frames a second. Um, or on a device that can do 60 frames a Which second. Which would be a computer because TV computer. is, what, three? Well, it depends how old your TV is. Okay. And what kind of device it's hooked up to. Okay. If you have a new Chromecast, they support higher than 60. And you have to have a newer TV that, that supports, that supports it higher well. than 60. Okay. But phones, tablets, computers, no problem. 
Yeah. They totally do. Is there a setting second. you have to switch it to, or will it automatically go to the highest setting? That, if you have it set to auto, it should go okay. automatically. If you have it set, like specifically set to 720 or 1080, or your resolution of your screen is lower, then but it's there is a, a 720, yeah. there is a 720, uh, 60 uh, frames per second as well. But just check because if you don't have it set to that, some for, some games will look super weird and mm. things will be missing or the text will be bad because it always uses something special for text mm. um so i'm gonna add that into our screen because i say rgb and then okay. i'll add another line saying 60 frames per second okay so that people will make we'll sure. know to switch yeah and, and i'm gonna add it into the little speech at the beginning so that mm. everybody knows right from the beginning Broadcasting in 60 frames per second, something <laughs> something cheesy like that. Yeah, I um, like that. Yeah, yeah. so thank you, uh, Lilla, et cetera, et cetera, uh, <laughs> for pointing that out. Somebody did say that to me once before as well okay. um, when I was showing one of his games, and he also didn't have it set to okay. 60 frames per second. And he was like, why does your stream look like crap? <laughs> My poor game looks terrible on your stream. But he just uh, he just made a mistake. He knew that it could be broadcast and so did this person yeah but some people might not know yeah. oh dan k has just joined the chat hello dan k hey, um and his uh interview is scheduled for maybe early next week okay. monday tuesday wednesday you're probably. thinking somewhere around there okay. yeah so he's gonna he's gonna be sending me some more material nice. to put in between because he has brand new games that he's working on right now That's awesome. so he wants the best you know looking versions of them in there so it makes sense mm -hmm. Um, so that'll be very exciting. Lots of brand new information coming with that about his new games. Um, there was a game I ran across on Facebook. It was for the Commodore 64. Mm. And it was called uh, Tower of Rubble. And I was l looking at it because I like six Commodore 64 games. We both owned one in the 80s. And I was looking at this going, oh my god, this can be easily made into an Atari, Atari 2600 game. Mm -hmm. It was a little man that ran across the bottom of the screen. And there were blocks falling from the top. And you had to avoid them. And it kind of gave you a warning, a little like ray a of... Red or little ray coming down, a little, ch -ch 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 -ch, little mm -hmm. uh, thing warning you where it was going to land. And then it would come down and slam down. Mm -hmm. Then there would be other ones, little other indicators that would take out blocks. Mm. And you had to vo avoid both of those. So you had to jump, run, and you had to go back and forth. And it would build up with the new blocks and tear down with the destro destroyed blocks. Mm. And you had to avoid all of these. And I thought, oh my god, that's perfect mm. for a 2600 game. And so I posted it on the Facebook um, uh, channel, or fa Facebook page for zero page mm. and uh dianoid um responded mm. um he's a guy who, who did amoeba jump and he's like this is a game i'd love to port to the 2600 <laughs> challenge accepted <laughs> <laughs> and nice. then a person who did who worked on the commodore 64 version replied as well to that oh that's so funny. i didn't put his name in somehow he just ran across that yeah. i I guess I shared it or something. He saw, saw it that way. It was uh, Tomas Ankudowicz. Mm. Oh boy. These, uh, Ankudowicz. These, these Eastern European Polish names are just, they're hard. <laughs> they're, hard <laughs> they're hard for English speakers. We'll just apologize just Sorry. continuously. <laughs> yeah. I've got Thomas Jentz's name down. Yeah. He confirmed I said it right. Oh, good. <laughs> in the John Champeau yeah. interview, he said, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> He replied on the YouTube. Yeah. Um, he said, go for it. I'm looking forward to seeing yet another conversion. I worked on a C64 version. It made a few changes compared to the original one. It was originally put out on um, the Atari home computer. Mm. So the C64 wasn't the original one. Uh, my making of article was published in number 11 of K&A magazine. Thanks and good luck. And then Dianoid posted later a running animation of the main character oh, that's already awesome. done. Nice. So he's already started working on it. Yeah. And it's unbelievable. That's that's going to be a really fun game. Yeah. I haven't played it, but just looking at it, it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's awesome. Very cool. And possibly. I look forward to it. I look it forward to it. It could even be made into a two-player game. 
because it's just blocks jump, uh, dropping straight down. And all there is is one guy. So you could make two guys, two different colors, running across and competing to see who could outlast the other. So that could be made into a two-player game even <laughs> and add on to it, add your own uh, new twist. Hey, Arena Foot has joined us. Yeah. Hello, Arena Foot. Hi, Foot. And I just want to say hi, Carolyn, as well, because Tiki Dan said Carolyn's oh, watching. Oh, hi, Carolyn. So hi, Carolyn. And, um, and oh, Mr. Beefy, Beefy Morris, Morris has joined us. And Arena Foot's slacking off at work. <laughs> I believe he's a supervisor, so I think he can. Uh, he's kind of allowed to, you know, <laughs> take his own breaks. At least he won't be caught. Mm -hmm. um, well, in a previous life, you were a supervisor, too. Yes. Yeah, I don't think I watched videos at work, though. I thought you uh, but guys at that did. Time, oh, we did, yes. Yeah, we, <laughs> we watched Big Brother on a TV in the corner on silent. Oh, okay. Because that was like the first season where they had cameras going 24-7 and it was just... So you just had it constant? Constantly sitting okay. there. Yeah. Yeah. Silliness. Yeah. Um, you remember the game Assembloids that we played? Uh, where you're matching... Which one was that? Yes, yes. That was nice. I liked that game. Pieces. I enjoyed that game. Yep. That was really good, yeah. So now it's available for free, for download. The full, oh, the full wow. version. He is... Um, because at, when he put it out, he didn't have a download to, to play it okay. at home. You had... I think there was an early version or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, now it is available completely wow. for anybody to play. Um, he said, last year a game, Assembloids, was released... And it is since then available at the Atari Age Store. Today we published the binaries for the PAL and NTSC version. Uh, you can still get the boxed version uh, and support us and Al's efforts and his online shop. Thanks for reading, playing, and being part of this community. Cheers, Martin, Enthusi, slash prior art. So, um, yeah, now you can play it and see if you like it and buy it, too. Because nice. it is very nice artwork. Um, okay, so on to the first game that Yay. we're going to play, Excellent. which is by John Van Newman, who is in the chat with us mm -hmm. live, and it's called Peril, and this is yesterday's version of the game. Yesterday, so there's a, there's a today's <laughs> version. <laughs> well, yeah, no today's version, no today's. He didn't make one today, but I always try and keep up on the newest version possible. Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks, Ayas Posta. Uh, he li he likes my t-shirt. Oh, joy, oh, yeah. joy, joy, joy. Joy, 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 That's, that's funny, joy, joy, joy. <laughs> yeah, the C... Um, you would know better than I would at the, which ones... That's which? the Atari, well, they're all 2,600, 5,200, yes. 7,800. 7,800, yes. Um, that's not the default joysticks the 5,200 comes with. He pointed out it's a Wicco. <laughs> and the Pain Line, or Pro Line joystick. Oh. Yeah, it's not the greatest joystick in the world. Actually, none of these are very good joysticks. Well, well, I don't think I've seen the middle one. I've seen you no, have you have I, the other two. Yeah, I don't. You do have the fifty two hundred. I know. Yeah, I don't have that. Or, joystick. Sorry, seventy eight hundred. Yeah. But as far anyway. as fifty two hundred joysticks go, yeah. the middle one is a good one. Well, it is quite impressive. I mean, PRG oh. is great for all kinds of media. Yeah. Uh, for all kinds of media, all kinds of products, Shirts? I guess. Products. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I was quite impressed with the fact that I found a woman's t-shirt with Atari 26, with, with Atari controllers on it. Yes. I wanted that shirt. And then I went, no, no, it's a woman's shirt. Only in women's. <laughs> it was only in women's. And oh. I thought, wow, that's, yeah, that's, that's unusual. Impressive. That's quite that's unusual. Good. So I had to, I had to get, had the... to get it. I couldn't get it. Yeah. Hello, Comp Ocean 808 watching from Hawaii. Ooh, nice. Yeah. yeah very nice. Yeah. Hopefully it's nice weather there. Yeah. Probably not. No hur nur no hurricanes or yeah. anything like that. But, uh, but usually, or whatever you get on the Pacific side. Yeah, usually Tropical around this storms, time sure. it's not great weather, if I remember no. correctly. This is when they start naming the, the tornado, not the hurricanes. And I think they're up to like M in some places already. Oh, that's already. crazy. Yeah. Okay, so this is from <laughs> yesterday, and this is Peril. So let's boot this up. And this is a joystick game Ooh, very cute. so i will let you have a first crack at it while All i right. talk a little bit about it so um john von newman oh, is the programmer of night guy and low res world remember that one where it's like massive amounts of puzzles uh he also did low res racer and draco which we played mm -hmm. um which was all the oh. um all the dragons racing around the center and let's see, so I said, 
He posted on October 19th, which he first posted the first version of it. Hi again. A couple days ago, I started a new project. I, it has no name yet, <laughs> but I coded the game mechanics and some screens. I will be posting updates in this thread. And then he updated. Oh I've completed the first 12 screens, and I'm releasing the first test ROM. I don't have a Harmony cart yet. It has only been tested in Stella. I would really appreciate if somebody could test it in actual hardware. Uh, I still have room uh, to, I still have to work on a better title and game over screens and I plan to add some more rooms. So I did some testing for him to make sure it did run in, um, on the Harmony cart and it does and that's why we're playing it on the show. It doesn't jump, no screen jumping or anything. Um, John Von Neumann says basically don't touch anything. That yeah, is, that's, fair enough. that's the instructions for the game and make it through each screen. So I'm going to set up the pole right now while well, you do that really oh, quickly gotcha. here. While you figure out that Yeah, sorry if I'm game. getting quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, maybe talk a little bit about what's going on. <laughs> yeah, well, and how uh, you're doing. I'm just avoiding things. I, I, I learned very quickly that the walls you cannot hit. Oh, you lose. You Aww. lose. <laughs> what screen did you make it to? Thir well, just just the third one. Okay. But I'm 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 figuring things out. Oh, as I go here. Almost done setting up the pole. I did have it typed out beforehand, but I just so didn't close. put it in. And here we go. Let's start the pole. There we go. So the poll, the poll for today, the question for today is how many homebrew carts oh, for any system do you own? Um, first one is one through five. Answer number two is six through 10. Answer number three is 11 through 20. Uh, 21 through 50 is the fifth. <laughs> 21 and, through it's 50. The fourth is the fourth, sorry. And, and answer five is zero. So if you only play them on uh, emulator you have none i, def I definitely <laughs> the actual cartridges then you're not just talking about games oh 21 and up i don't disregard the 50 because you maybe you have more than 50. yeah actual physical cartridges or cartridges in box like something with a label something that mm. you know you you bought or even made yourself i guess homebrew carts homebrew specifically homebrew um and I would say, that is not gonna, that, I'm not really sure. I'd say I'm this. in the 40, 40 to 50 range, possibly. That box is destroyable, John von Neumann says. Oh, at the bottom. At the bottom. Okay, good to yeah, know. Yeah, because it would be impossible to dodge that. I was going to say, I'm not sure I can dodge that. <laughs> yeah, it's not really, you know, like, it's just like his other game, um, a Night Guy. It's not really. It's, it's hard. Uh, it's it doesn't hard. take much to overshoot, so. Harmony cart? Uh, yeah, I would say the harmony cart should count. Yeah. Um, because you can put homebrew on it, but it only counts as one, <laughs> not like 20 if not, you've loaded 20 yeah, on exactly. there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, Arena Foot is two with eight homebrews. Uh, Nintendo K360, welcome. Uh, he is an 11 through 20. Retro Happy Hour has zero. He is against physical media. <laughs> None of that. Actually, they do take up a lot of room. So actually not if you just get the carts. They don't take up too much room. John von Neumann is at zero. He answered zero. Zero is not an option. <laughs> you have to answer five uh, if you have oh, zero. No. What is going on? Uh, uh, shoot it. Shoot it. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. I no. saw you shoot it. You no, shoot it I a shot lot. it. Oh, my goodness. Well, four that seven, was fun. Four seventy-eight. So you made it up to the first box so far. <laughs> or Lord Munkus has one. The Uno card. The Uno card. Oh, he's ahead of the times. He's got the new. Wade, right? <laughs> oh, Wade you're Rain doing pretty five. good with five. Actually. No, no, that's the answer. Five is zero. Like he's answering with five. Oh, I see. Yeah, you have to answer the poll, right? Oh my God. <laughs> see, not quite as simple as you. I want to point out on this screen that when the light flashes, like the, the laser beam, mm -hmm. everything else goes a little bit dark. Mm -hmm. 
very, very nice touch. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, oh, you're blind, your irises are closing. Makes everything else dark. Super but is that, smart. I guess it is. The gray is changing. Yep. Yeah. Even the oh, even the red yeah. is so, slightly so darker. So that little thing on the red, there is a switch. If you shoot it, the um... oh, is it? Yes, it's a switch. There you <gasps> go. Oh wow, that's so yeah, awesome. Yeah, very cool. Not necessary, but super awesome. Oh no, I like that. I like that. Yeah. So yeah, as soon as you get into a screen, you might not want to move immediately because you have to kind of suss it out. Yes. And the controls are very like very touchy. They're touchy, but they're not. But they're very um, responsive. Like, when I first I first started, I started running into things. But once you get used yeah. to it, it's really not that. It's not that sensitive. No, you do want it to move fast. Yeah. that's for sure. So it's kind of good that it moves fast. There we go. There we go. There we go. Still got four lives. I did die once, stupidly. Yeah. I don't know. Can you hit it? Are you waiting for that box to? Oh, you can. <gasps> and then the whole bottom shifts over. Wow. I've played this a tiny bit. Oh, see, now it's coming out. Lord Monkus has around 60, 26. Oh, Ooh. is that homebrew? No. <laughs> I don't know what he answered. One. Oh, okay. Yeah, he has, cool. or just original stuff. Okay. So you have played this a little bit. Yes, I have. Oh. Not much past this, though. Oh, I think I'm in the clear now. Oh, 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 what are okay. those guys? What do you call them? Bullets, the Bullet, bombs. Bullets, bullets, uh... Oh, I did get it Oh, look one. at that. Oh, that's awesome. That is one of the best bosses I've ever seen on a 2600 game. It's so huge and creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. It's like spider bot. <laughs> wow, look at that. I tested it out because I had to make sure it wasn't going to flip out mm -hmm. on the system. <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm, I do mm -hmm. know how to play a little bit yeah, of what how, this screens. How long did you play for a couple hours? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to ruin my experience. No, but... no, no. I'm, I'm teasing. But I mean, just I like that. Is pretty, it's an amazing, pretty awesome that spider. Yeah. Look at these guys. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they're okay, gonna come down. Okay. I think oh, I can make you've it. Got, though. You're pretty good. Your control is it. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I have not made it past this. So you just have to be very careful? I think I need to be in the right. The right. Far right or far left, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what is that? A little the dot, the square. Bounce. Oh, I don't know. What is it doing? It's following, following your position. Oh my goodness. That's scary. It's like a little seeing eye. Uh, <laughs> isn't this... This is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Can you read some of that? People are uh, where did we get to? Rena Foot just uh, um, acknowledging, coming clean, that five of his he bought and the other three were freebies. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> you have them. You got them somehow. Uh, oh, God, I hate I dark ones. I supposed to brilliant, yeah. Oh, I don't like the Oh, I, I hate better. ones. As long as there's no opponents, yeah. I, I'll be fine. Uh, it's because you have to move. Everything kills you, so... John von Neumann just saying just decorative. I'm assuming that's in re regard to oh, the, little, that little, the, little, the little box that I love it. You. Those little touches yeah. make make games so good. And and Mr. Beefy Morris is saying, oh, I'm adjusting. I think I'm up to 16, so... <laughs> okay, good, good. Oh, my goodness. There's no time limit, which is good. But there is a reward for time. He added that in recently. Oh, so when you this get to is, the end... You get... I think this is it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Looked like I, I thought died. you died there for a second. <laughs> yes. Just decorative look for the switch. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what is it? Ugh, this one disappears. Yeah. Cool. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, too. So it's kind of... Can I clear this? Com no, I can't. You can clear one by one, I yeah. think. You have to be careful. This is... Probably one of my favorite styles of games, puzzle action. Where where you're where it is a bit of action, but it's also puzzly. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh, run <laughs> go. Ah oh, okay duh okay. Oh, it comes back together. Okay, that's fine. So you have to clear all of that. Yeah. 
Once you get Pretty over quick. to that space, you're okay. Yeah. And then... And down to the bottom. Wait at the bottom. Ah. The bottom bottom. Oh! oh. Bottom like there? Like the bottom bottom there. I that think I can corner. clear it. You think so? Oh, I'm not saying you can. Uh, yeah, but I you can, can pause in it. the bottom there if, if you need to. I th yeah, you can. But it's not much room. A little tricky. Yeah. yeah. It's a little tight. I think there's enough room here to do it. Mm -hmm. Let's just have to get down and then... Oof. Yeah. Good if job. you're not quick, you might want to go to that bottom corner. Yes. Ah! 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 What do I do? Shoot. Ah! Oh my god. What the hell is happening now? Do I kill that thing? Ah! Ah! Nope. Nope, you have to go down, maybe. There's no know. way I can make it through that. I, yeah. have, I, I have to kill this for sure. I think. <laughs> Come on. It's not reacting, so... Maybe you don't kill it. Oh, damn it. Destroy the cannon. Okay, so you do have to kill it. But it's not reacting. Maybe it just takes a lot. It's one of the rules of bosses. You have to know when you've hit them. Okay, oh. good. Ah! Ooh. Oh, very Mega Man. Oh, you stay at the top and you're oh. fine. Okay, that's good. I did dodge it the first time, though. Oh, oh. went right into it. Oh, no. Don't lose your life. You've got no. one more left. How many one more. Them? One more heart. Yep. One more little heart. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I like it though. So far, very creative. Super creative. Yeah. I love his games. Every level is so different in in his games. Well, that's nice. It's nice to have that variety. Uh... Some games are very simple, but they're the same thing. And other yep. games, you know, a game uh, like this, everything is completely different. So it has, Yeah, it does have a huge yeah. hit point. Oh, my God. But you are safe at the top. So be quick or be dead. So, mm -hmm. mm. oh, does it repeat? Did Back I win? Back the beginning. Woo! 2,000. Oh. <laughs> and I Did crashed. you <laughs> I guess you keep cycling through, but you made it to the end. Good job. Woo! -hoo! Now you do have to do it. It's not too bad. There are some I tricky parts, but I think you can... <laughs> right off the bat. I Let's don't care. Let's try that again. I don't care. I need 2337. Arena Foot, the official record keeper. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to be uh, passing this anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Terrible. Do I have any oh more my gosh. information about this? Oh, uh, just keep dying. There we go. <laughs> no, no, I did that on purpose. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, what? I had lost a fair number of lives at that point. I'm gonna open the door again for cats. So you get into a safe spot, and I'll do that. Oh! Come I told you I'm on. not very good at this. Come on! <laughs> oh, look what Arena Foot put. Oh, that's zero, zero, zero. so mean. <laughs> so mean. Uh. Yeah. So the last build he had there before this. Okay, don't stand there. <laughs> stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Uh, oh, I must be. Hot. Yeah, it is too hot. The cats are probably sleeping now. Yeah. Um, so this new build, he actually put in points. It, there was no points before. It was all just level based. Oh. But now the points are based on time. So somebody could beat that my score by just doing it faster. Mm, gotcha. Yeah. And we do have a coconutty smell. When I open the door, we had uh, we got pizza delivery uh, yesterday. Yes. And the guy came to the door, and he said, "Oh, your house smells really nice." <laughs> and I'm like, "Does it? We have two cats, you know." Yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Oh, it smells." I didn't say that, but <laughs> yeah. um, he said, "Yeah, it smells. It smells like uh, smells like coconut." I'm like, "Well, I'm used to it yeah. because usually the doors open. I can just smell both. I just opened the door, so I could really smell the coconut." And he's like, oh, sometimes I deliver to houses <laughs> and they're hoarders and the smell is horrific. It's terrible. Well, so. I'm sure. I'm sure. And he's like, oh, it smells like shit sometimes. It's terrible. 
This guy's tough. Oh no, you have to shoot and move. <laughs> oh. You gotta try that again. You gotta beat that guy at least. Uh, uh, yep. He's he's where I died the last time too. He is tough. You only can get a, t a couple shots in. Yeah, this is amazing for only worked on it for a week. Well, oh, really? we don't know how long he worked on it before he posted it, but um, but I don't know how long did you work on it for? Yeah. Oh, there he did say it. He developed a, started developing it a week ago. Wow. That is really good. Yeah, I mean, very cool. um, a lot of like not a lot of the code, but the same kind of layout as his night guy. So he's got a lot of practice at this style of game where it's single screen, move your guy, but the night guy was actually probably very challenging because he had gravity. Um, this one is a free moving, so it's just don't touch anything. Animate, but a lot of, a lot of 2600 games, there's not animation. It, like this, where we're repeating puzzles and stuff. Very, very few. So I love, I love this game. Now all you have to do is make a um, hundred levels now. <laughs> did we finish Night Guy? I don't think. I don't think we did finish playing Night Guy. It got really, really, really hard. I can't remember if we did. Oh, you almost shot know. yourself. I don't know how to. I don't know how to get him. Like I can't get move all the way to one side. I can't move fast there. enough away from him. Lure him to one side, then all the way to the other, and then shoot him. There. Now turn around, shoot, and then move away. There, oh. you did it. <sighs> John von Neumann, I uh, used ideas from Night Guy from this game, and I will use some of the ideas I used here to expand Night Guy. Awesome, yes. You could definitely um, use them back and forth for um, the ideas for the for the traps, I guess. Ooh, good job. Go. <laughs> you just pixely, pixel perfect mm -hmm. moving it. Well, these are their tight spaces. They are very. Oh, careful, I didn't mean careful, to get careful. I did not mean to get that close. <laughs> oh, you made it. Is this the uh, spider guy? Oh, no. Nope. This is easy. Just right to the bottom. Almost. <laughs> you do have to avoid it a bit. <laughs> oh, now it's spider. Awesome. You made it to the spider. Oh, that was pretty good. That was better than That was than pretty before. good. Hi, buddy. Hi. Uh, this guy back. has... um. A little chicken leg on he your has a, arm. He, he has this thing where he likes to put his chicken leg on things. Yeah. And you'll you'll catch the two of them cuddling. And he'll, and have, he'll his have his chicken leg over over Pixel, which is very, very sweet. He's, oh, yes. Hi, buddy. Yeah. So, you think you're done? I think All I'm done. You You've do? already gone through it, so. Yeah, um, I, I finished uh, it. I, I won't, I won't. Um, um, try again? <laughs> yeah, I won't try again. I you did pretty good. You made up to the spider. I like the spider a lot. The spider's yeah, I really think the cool. eye is the hardest. He's boss. hard because he tracks you, and it's well, hard no, to get. Well, I wouldn't say that. The last guy, the far, last boss, yeah. is harder, but that. But the eye, it's hard, hard to get far enough away from him that you can face him and shoot him. Like that's the challenging yeah. part with him. I would switch the eye to a little bit late, like after the spider boss, because I think the eye's harder. Yeah. Yeah. If if you're going he is, for he is harder, challenging. he'll harder he'll challenges. get your your lives down. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna move on to reflex okay. now, and if I remember correctly, it uses the driving controllers. So we're gonna switch them out. If you can hold that, mm. let's switch back now and put on. Oh, where's the poll question? Mm -hmm. There it is. Boom. Oh, it's pretty even. Uh, 25, oh. a quarter of the people have one through five, another quarter of 11 through 20, and another quarter of zero. <laughs> and the rest are sprinkled in. So it's fairly even yeah. distribution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people do have... Um, a fair number of um, cartridges. Yeah. So let's put in the driving controllers. And hopefully playing some of the games will encourage some people to buy some cartridges too. That's right. They get to see and see which ones they so might what, like. So what category do you fit in? Uh, or, the or top one. The top one. <laughs> I would say 40 to 50 games. You have 40 to 50 homebrew cartridges? Yeah. There, there's a lot. Look at just these two stacks here. Oh, wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 24 right there. Wow. Then there's 
all the Vectrex. Well, I guess you're not just you're not just talking Atari. Then there's all those Atari. Then there's that stack there. Yeah. I think just Atari. And you just got an Intellivision one too, right? Yes. Yes. That's right. And I have a uh, Commodore 64 one as well. Uh... Does this work? Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. Go down. What am I going down to? To that. And then Reflex. <sighs> Which one? Top or uh, bottom? The bottom. The top one's a menu. Menu? Okay. Oh, nice. Beautiful title screen. Yeah. And it's even got the music VU meters. Nice. Look at that. Oh, change out the uh, graphic here. One second. There we go. Yes, great idea, John. Great uh, game, John von Neumann. Thank you so much for yes. making that. And we're I'm looking it's forward really to uh, more developments with that yeah. and uh, being able to challenge myself to beat the rest of the levels as you make them. And your games definitely need to go on cartridge and be sold somewhere once yeah. you're finished. Yeah, yeah. Night Guy and that one. They will do really, really well, I think. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so. So, joystick, two joysticks. Driving controller. Two is driving this a driving controller? controller? Yeah, yeah it, it is. Oh. Okay. So oh, so you can lose. So one ninety nine. You can pull that off. Yeah. Value Village sticker. Is it really? One ninety nine bought years I, and years I feel and like years I ago. Need to show that. It's still very sticky. Oh, I will hide my face. Oh, anyway, there you go. It's hard it's to too say. close. It's yeah, too close. Yeah, it's okay. That okay. is hilarious. Ready? Sorry. Press button. Nope. Okay, so I am the bottom. You're the oh. top. Get it ready. So it is competitive. So we've got a little green ball. So it's a bit like Breakout and Pong because we're, yes. we are competing against each other here. It's a bit of both. We don't seem to be getting points. For the, no. For those. So I have to what? You have to lose? Uh, Lose the ball, it has yes. to go off your side? I think so. Funny. Reflex was interesting. Is it an actual finished game? As far as I know, it's not officially finished. This is still a work in progress game. Um, I will read a bit more about it after we finish this game. Very terrible. Why would they make the background... Kind of a gray. That's very weird. Well, it's very pongy though. Pong oh, the always... sounds are very pong. No, no, but I mean like pong, the the old like CRT or whatever yeah. they used to play on, always had that grayish. They weren't completely get it, get it, black. Get it, get it. Uh, yeah. They were never completely. Yay! Do we both get a point? No. <laughs> so it's pretty much when you lose the ball. It's unusual. It's not very speedy. At th oh! Oh, oh! you got one. Got one point. This is very, um, do you find it not sensitive enough? Yeah, I have to spin it I quite a bit. I have to spin it a lot to get from one <laughs> side to the other. But it's very precise. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, they're using, um, I think, the play field for the paddles, for some reason. The oh, to make, it, to make it that wide. Because it's very chunky, like the movement is not like a smooth pe per pixel movement. So I'm guessing they're using the play field because it's too wide for a missile or a ball. Um, and to get it, I think somebody did a hack of this and called it deflect. Oh, interesting. What would you hack in this? I don't know what you would hack. Maybe just the images in the middle? Um, no, because he put out a level editor um, that people uh, could make their own levels for the final release of the game. See, I couldn't get over fast. Just gotta go spin, spin, spin. It's not jittery though. It just takes. It just takes a, quite a bit of spinning to get from one one edge to the other. Yeah, might it's, have been it, better with paddles because paddles are more responsive. Or maybe it's maybe. just the way he made the responsiveness of the game. Yeah, I supposed to. There are almost three turns of the paddle to get to one <laughs> end to the other. Yeah. Which. I don't have the greatest wrist, so there you go. So some scammer um, took this game and put it on cartridge. 
really? without the author's knowledge or permission at one point. Really? And sold it for $30 a cartridge. What? Uh, 20 of them, yep. And I supposed to have bought one of them accidentally because he didn't know that it was a, um, a scammer. Because how, like, how are you going to know? It, you have to do a whole bunch of research. You just assume that the person is, you know, doing it properly and um, got permission. It's getting a little bit faster now. And apparently there is some English on this, so you can kind of push it to one direction or the other if you want to and make it more... Uh, Oh, Mr. Beefy Morris says, I wish this one would make it to cart. I want it. Oh, oh off by a pixel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and just like Arkanoid, it's hard to get that last one. There's no power up, so you can't shoot it. <laughs> oh. Oh, so you get to release it when yeah, it's on I your do. side. Okay. Makes I sense. I think I've released all of them. So far. Yeah, yeah, I've released all of them, so I have control of that. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay, we'll do a, <laughs> we'll do a <laughs> one player. One player. While I read me? Out. Yep. Okay. While I read out. Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 that confused me. No, no, it's Start okay. Over. It's okay. What? Every side, all the way around. Oh my goodness. Okay, well that's good to know. So you kind of follow the ball almost with gotcha. one side. <laughs> yeah. So we're we're playing the one player now because oh, I definitely want to. This is cool. This is better. I yes. like this. I like this concept. The two player eh, didn't have quite like you. <laughs> in the two player, if you could control to... two sides, maybe that would be really cool. So, let's read some more info about this. Uh, this was made by Lee Fosteno in 2005. Uh, his name on the... Uh, yeah, I wish you could Oh, at the front? Okay. That's wish you could start it with a button. Every game needs to start with a button. Because um, <laughs> it goes backwards. After I know. Bit, I'm, right? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... Uh... You have to think... Stretch my brain to think, oh, there is like a, a paddle wheel. on the other side. Like... <sighs> yes. No, this is good. I like this. This is made by Thelbane, or Leifa Steno. Uh, he, this is what he posted first. Here's my first posting of Reflex. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and I appreciate any feedback you might have, particularly about the gameplay, difficulty, and the driving controller support, if you have the required hardware. But all comments are welcome. This is a breakout game, breakout-like game, where the objective is to... You're not doing so. Did you finish the first level? No. No. I'm... I'm I... It, it, it's it's uh <laughs> it's interesting <laughs> the battles are so huge yeah but it's 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 thinking in terms of the 360 well the it's edge just clockwise but or the, counterclockwise the edge isn't right? defined either so sometimes you oh, oh. no thanks uh <laughs> sometimes sometimes you don't realize it's actually reached the edge oh uh, you have to kind of follow it as much as you can i yeah. guess right yeah they do start with the restart button yeah not with the button button uh, the big difference is that in single player, you control two paddles that move around the bricks instead of just under them. The two player variation is similar to Pong, uh, except there are bricks between you and your opponent's paddles. Some quick info, uh, joystick is single player, joystick, two player, oh, we can play competitive or cooperative. Oh, there's so we'll two, do, two we'll versions? So we'll do the cooperative one next. Sure. See how that differs. Maybe it's like this, where it's all the way around. Uh, oh, I, it says, Oh, I forgot to include a link to the level editor. I had posted this to the Stella developers list, and since I'm finally using this to generate levels, I thought I'd post it here. Please note this tool is only for contributing levels for possible inclusions in the finished game, not generating custom levels for a hacked ROM. Sorry. So there is a level editor, but I don't know if there's much point in making levels, because he hasn't continued this game and responded at all since 2005. Let me see if he's still on the forums. Because some people just disappear completely from the forums for years and never show up again. 
which is always very, very sad. Because some people make amazing games. Oh, he's probably not. He's only done 22 posts. Oh, he was last active a year and a half ago, so I think might be out of luck here. I did uh, put a post in his um, on his thread, so maybe he'll see it because some because pe you do get alerts through email when uh, people post on your thread. And then I found some information um, that I supposed to was talking about. It says un and I said and unfortunately there were a number of them were released on cart in 2014 without the author's knowledge or permission for $30 a cart. And I don't even want to say the name of oh, the company that put it out because that would just give them free advertising and we don't want... Okay, I'm going to play. You play, yeah. Uh, and see if I can do... I'm going to come right back. <laughs> Refill, eh? Yep. Oh, oh, it is slow with the driving controller. It's a little bit slow. Oh, you have to turn it so much. Oh, it's painful. Yeah, it'd be better if it was more sensitive. I don't know if it's the driving controllers, because paddles are way more sensitive than this. Or if it's the programming of the game to the sensitivity setting. But it would definitely improve with a bit more sensitivity it's it's a struggle to turn this it is painful like you wouldn't want to play a game for too long oh see i couldn't even make it there in time no nope, couldn't make it in time maybe if i use the other one but you're, you're like switching even then it's no Oh, see that? Oh my goodness. So you're always trying to get it, maintain the middle of your paddle for where it's going to be. But it's still a massive struggle to, to move it. See, I can't make it there. Oh my god. Painful. Painful. No, it doesn't, it doesn't restart with that. I don't know if there's any... No. No different difficulties. Let's see if I can at least clear one board. Oh, and it doesn't spin freely either. Oh my god. Terrible! At least it changes the board, I guess, every time you restart to a random one. Which is nice, because you'll never get to see it. It's too hard! Oh, now it's going fast. Oh my goodness. But the the look and the general gameplay of how it's set up is really, 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 really cool. I think to finish off this game, all you would need is to speed up the paddle. It is hard. It is hard. I can't get it yeah. around fast oh, enough. So critical <laughs> when you're not playing, eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, it, I know. it 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 is the I can't um, steer it fast it's enough. the sensitivity of the paddle makes it hard to yeah. kind of wrench it around. I wonder if uh, um, uh, the joystick is easier. I don't know. But uh, the paddle, if if this one is a game turn for paddles. got you all the way around, yeah. then um, it would be a little bit easier, I think. But it go. is quite challenging. Here's cooperative. Mm. Let's see how this is different. Uh, okay, looks the same. It's cooperative. Oh no! Look at the score. There's a score now. Oh okay. So the score is and there. lives. So we just, it's kind of the same gameplay, mm -hmm. but just different, different way you score it. Different results. Like we share lives, I guess. Like this isn't too bad. Actually, the sensitivity seems a little higher. In this. It's not higher. You just don't have to go as far around. Mm, no, it's higher. Like I can make no, it across faster. I can't. I can't. I still have to turn it multiple times. Maybe it's this one. Maybe your paddle's a little better. Maybe Could mine's be. not as sensitive. I don't know. I think it is. I think mm. this is easier to turn. But like, how like, how far does a single turn give you? Like um, you kind of get from one side to the other. Oh. I think it's based on speed, 
too, how fast you turn it. Mm. So that I can't really tell you. Dirty paddles. Dirty paddles. Yes, they need cleaning. <laughs> probably that one. Yeah, probably does. does Oof, need I hit it twice. <laughs> Got stuck in my paddle for a second. It probably is because this feels different than that paddle. And I think it's moving further. We'll switch mm -hmm. after this game. And you can tell me if you can move faster. Because I haven't played two-player with that paddle yet. Oh, I think we're good. Oh, one more. Yay. I don't think we... Did we clear a two-player? I think we... Uh, it's driving controllers, not paddle controllers. What's the difference? Um, paddles have a end point, like they click to one inside. Oh, I see. This just continues. This spins forever. Oh, oh I got it. Yay! Woo, look job. at those point score. Ooh. No, we did. We did finish one game with a two-player. What you mean, last time? Yeah. Yeah, we, we finished got at one. Least one. I won. Yes. <laughs> ah, you won and, and cleared one. Yeah. yeah, these are the driving. Got little race cars on them. You can't really tell by visual inspection. But they they operate differently. Definitely better as a cooperative mode, I think. Um, but the main game, I f maybe it is our paddles. Maybe the paddle just needs a little bit of... Um, driving controllers. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> it does be, I mean when you think of this type of controller you think of a paddle controller because of, because yes. of how it spins but yeah. yeah the driving controller needs a little bit of um, work uh, yeah cleaning, cleaning. yeah some some somebody, care some love and care <laughs> somebody told me a good thing to do is just sit for an hour and just go like this <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah okay we're gonna switch okay. and you can tell me if this one feels better moves better mm -hmm. yeah no. It it's looser. No, it's still this one's looser. Yeah. Um it's but I it still has the same Yeah, it's about distance. the same distance. Just same throw. Same throw, is that would it? that be the technical term? I have no idea. Same amount of throw. <laughs> Sounds well. right. Seventeen sixty joint score. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this one needs a little bit of work. Oh, that's a bit better now. A little bit better. It's still crunchy, a little crunchy. Mm. How long ago did you buy these um, <laughs> controllers in Value Village? Early 90s. Early 90s. And they have oh, not been used. <laughs> we did use them once in a game recently. Yeah, I think we did. I can't remember what it was, but mm. they, it needed driving controllers, specifically. Mm. So that was the first time they'd ever been used. I mean, they look for clean. 25 years. 25 oh, yeah, years. they're really clean. I keep Yeah, things, no, like they don't, look, I keep they them, don't look like they're in bad condition. They, I keep things just... in very good condition. Yeah. <laughs> and there's not many games that use driving controllers, so somebody would have bought them and then never used them, probably. Not sure. Does anybody have a list of games that use the driving controllers? I know Indy 500 does. Probably that's it. Maybe one other game. Oh, clearing them out. Yeah, it is a very visually amazing game. Yeah, I like um, the colors in it. It's all about the uh, color gradation and the the black thin black line in between each um, stack. Of, yeah, yeah. And we played some um, dropping puzzle games recently that also employed that that thin line in between, and it really makes a difference rather than a solid um, block of color. One game uses a driving controller. Indy 500. One official game? <laughs> One official, like... Um, official. Official. Original Atari? Original. Original game. Non-homebrew. So, yeah. Mm. Somebody played it. Went, yeah, game's okay. And then put them away for... And then I played again 40 years later. <laughs> 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 One of the Christmas titles uses a driving controller. Oh. Ah. Is it that rabbit one? Hoppy Hopper? 
It's that rabbit that jumps up and hits bells? Yes, Arena Foot says that's it. Mm -hmm. Or no, Stella's stalking Grandma's revenge. Okay. Maybe saying that's it to me. Or Mr. Beefield. Homebrew. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, we beat our old score. Excellent. Yep. 1980. It's 1980. We're in the 1980s. Which is when the Reflex song came out. <laughs> That's who, right. Who, who, who uh, sang that? Well, our crowd would actually know that. <laughs> Some people... The Reflex. <laughs> I, I just can't think of who it is. You can't? Legitimately? No. Duran Duran. Duran? Oh, it is Duran Duran. Yeah, okay. you've been to their concert. I know, I have multiple times. I just... <laughs> sometimes those, those bands kind of blend together a little well, bit. I mean, they've had a lot of hit songs. So. Yeah, Duran Duran has actually quite a like variety of songs like yeah. their songs sound different oh, and some yeah. of them i'm like duran duran did that well and you forget ah, you know that ah. they they actually had a lot of um they had some hit songs in the 90s too i yes, mean they did uh and yep. uh we i went in with there. friends to vegas Yay. to watch Whoa, them. that was lucky yeah i know because i wasn't paying attention no you were not um thinking about vegas vegas well no we went to vegas to see them because they were touring and they gave a great concert and you sort of forget all of the great songs that they right. had um and they're great musicians too so mm -hmm. yeah it was a really really entertaining show yep just because they're 60 doesn't mean they can't rock out oh they can totally <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh there we go 3400 did very well that was good Okay, so Love the that's... Star Wars snow speeder versus at or at at I'm not sure at at, at, at. Easter egg in Grandma's room. Oh, at funny. at. That is quite an Easter egg. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to our last game, Space Cactus Canyon. Okay. And see if we can earn a patch. That's doubtful, but. What's the patch for? It is for getting a good score on Space Cactus Canyon. So the final is a three-way tie, just like last time. So nobody voted after that. Um, so it's a big variety of people who have a small amount, a medium amount, and no amount. And some have quite a bit. So it's all over the place. It is all over the place, mm -hmm. so I can't really come to any conclusion there. So the third game is Space Cactus Canyon, which I picked up at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Very nice, clean cover with mm -hmm. like a, a cactus with a halo around its head, mm -hmm. would mm -hmm. you say? And a bunch of gunmen and, you know, bullet holes, I would say. The year is 2543. You're the last cactus on Earth. <laughs> you live in the scorching deserts of the Rocky Mountains in what used to be Alberta, Canada. Nice. Which is the province over from us. Yeah. <laughs> The rest of your fellow cacti have moved to more temperate climate on Mars. <laughs> they have sent a final spaceship to transport you there. Reaching it won't be easy. Water has become Earth's most pre precious resource. And although you are a cactus, you need every drop. <laughs> but watch out for the humans. The few that remain after World War XII are, are, con are convinced they need the water even more than you do. And they'll do anything to protect it. Oh, that's so funny. That's right. Uh, the, what an what a unusual concept. <laughs> yeah, this guy makes very unusual games. He also made uh, Majimaze, which we haven't played, but we will. Mm. Uh, Tombstones, which I don't think I played. High Score Screen Burn Slow Burn, which is the game you don't play but you can interfere with it. It's just a little guy that moves randomly around a screen and mm. picks up bonuses and then moves to the next screen and then picks up a bonus. You just let it run forever. Is this like a new Bitcoin mining? <laughs> That's what it is. Scheme? Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, the 2600 is Bitcoin mining. Yes, bit Bitcoin mining on pretty, the 2600. <laughs> that'd be pretty slow, actually. Everyone should plug in their 2600s for bit Bitcoin mining. So there's the cartridge. Oh. It's the same as the front cover. Mm. Space Cactus Canyon. Quite dark printing on the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that. Let's see what bonuses we get in here. I 
A nice colorful manual there. It's a screensaver type game, Arena mm -hmm. Foot says. That would mm -hmm. be a good description. Or, yeah. is, or a zero player game. A zero player game where yeah. it plays on its own. Uh, I need to play, play Stay Frosty 2 some more. Or why would we not see it? Why would you not see it? Mm -hmm. um, we will play that at some point because I do need yeah. to play that more because it's very difficult. They're difficult Actually, and fun. Will, I like the Stay Frosty games. We will be playing it because it is part of the high score, homebrew high score oh, okay. tournament. Well, and we were also talking about, you know, Christmas themed ones. Yes. For, so for that time of year. So we'll um, be, there are a ton of snow, it'll work into winter, that. Christmas themed games out there. So. so let's plug this in and give it a go. Oh, let's take out the driving controllers because that won't Yeah, work. I was going to say. <laughs> And plug in a joystick. I believe it's just single player. Oh, God. Tight. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't boot up. Uh -oh. Let's try that again. Oh, got a cat. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. He's you didn't like that. I'm sorry. You okay? Oh, poor Flux. He doesn't like being picked. There up. we go. Oh. Let's try that again. Oh, it just starts right in? No. No, there's a title screen. What is happening? That's weird. Is this the first time you've played it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. No title screen. Weird. Maybe I'll die. Let's die and then see if there's a title screen. Because <laughs> we want to put a title screen up, of course. Oh, there is a lot of interference. What is happening? Yeah. So terrible. It does look a little funny. Trails end. Sweetie, sweetie, what are you doing? You don't like popcorn. <laughs> He's like, let me be the judge if I like popcorn. <laughs> There's the title screen. Oh. Why is it so terrible looking? Yeah, it is kind of, why is it, why, what's with the uh, oh. diagonal lines on it? I don't know. Hmm. Might have to live with that for now. Whoa. Okay. Doesn't look so bad on the feed, though. Mm, it doesn't look as bad on the feed, no. Maybe pull it out and put it back in. <laughs> yeah. That's not really the cartridge. Is the fault. computer plugged in? Yeah. Can you reboot it, please? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna reconnect all the all the lines here. Please hold. <laughs> oh, sound. Oh, it's not much better. So you're just gonna have to live with the RF interference, I think. Ugh. Okay. Are you ready? Go. Jeez. Cable interference. Yeah, it's oh, something to do with the cabling. It looks terrible. Oh, jeez. Doesn't that look terrible? Uh, it does look um, definitely off. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Beefy Morris says, I've never made it to a boss on this game. Okay. So there are shredders, which is that guy. The shredder are ornery cowboys who carry hidden machetes to protect them uh, from feral tumbleweeds that roam the canyons. If they get close to you, they'll cut you to pieces. So that's what those guys are. And what you're going after there is water. Ah! Water. It's it's randomly generated, eh? It is. Oh it my is. goodness. It's yeah. one of the very few 2600 games that are randomly generated. Oh, thank you for letting me know about the graphic. Is Maybe it just game reset? Uh, I think you can press the button. So you're going after water. This is not good. I'll lead him out of the way. There you go. Uh, even after 500 years of unprecedented rapid mutant e evolution, you're still a cactus and you still need water. If you want to make it to your spaceship, you'll need to collect every drop of water you see. Sometimes you'll find a whole bucket of water that the humans have been hoarding. When you do, you'll drink your fill and sleep through another hot night. Space cactus. Ever since your fellow cacti moved to a greener planet, it's been a lonely can uh, canyon for a cactus. Your needles are your only defense. Life has been brutal, and you have a few needles that remain. Aim carefully and only shoot when you must. Oh, 
So you do have bullets. Well, that's good to know. But you can trap them. Uh, John Von Neumann says it's kind of like food fight without food throwing. But you can throw food. Okay, before you do this one, I'm going to tell you how to do it. You have to um, get... Uh, there's going to be a bunch of weird things all over the screen. Okay. Like cats or something. You can collect those, but don't go after them. Go after the needle. That's your bullet refresh. Oh. If you happen to collect cats along the way, mm. great. After you get the needle, then definitely go after the cats. Or whatever is going to be on the screen. Go, go, go. You have like seconds. Go, oh, go, I didn't know go, that. go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you didn't say that it was a time thing. Oh. Those guys don't move. They shoot. Those are called shooters. The shooters have been trained to take out the radioactive coyotes. And now they're training their sights on you. They don't move, but instead take careful aim with their fully automatic plasma rifles. Oh, you're screwed, by the way. Am I? Um, I think you can just oh, no. barely move up to like, shoot I over. Passed, you have to be a certain distance away. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. A Canadian Western. Super special. You throw needles. <laughs> yeah, trap them there. There you go. Sorry about the interference. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to <laughs> play with the cabling. I did recently change one of the cables to a shorter version, but it might have been a crappier version. Possibly. But it was only the audio cable, but still that could that could uh, cause interference. But it was just working just fine, but now it's terrible. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's really fast. Uh, uh and then there's after the shredder shooters. The shredder shooters are the nastiest outlaws around, armed with their ion revolvers. They'll track you and shoot you where you stand. Oh boy. How to play. Let's learn how to play. You will use the joystick nice. controller with this video game cartridge. Make sure it's in the left jack. Hold the controller so the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How to control the controller. Your objective is collect the water at the end of each canyon. Collect enough water and eventually you'll reach the spaceship <sighs> that will take you to Mars. Last life. Um, if you inch up just barely and shoot across, you think, I think you can get them. There you go. Now I would run up to the left. Just run, run, run. There you go. <clears throat> Use your joystick controller to guide space cactus through the canyons. You can move horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. But you do have delimited bullets. I think it's on the right, the bullets Is that it? you have left. Yeah. Oh, you can make it all the way there. See, this is also an action puzzle game. Oh, you can't. Too mm -hmm. tight. Uh-oh. Too tight. <sighs> no. <laughs> uh, t -t 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 press the red button on your joystick to fire a needle. Uh, if the needle strikes a human, the human will turn into desert dust. No, 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 no. There you go. Turned into desert dust. Remember, you have a very limited supply of needles. The blue bar in the lower right corner of the screen. Blue. It's not blue, it's purple. Even in the manual, it's purple. Weird. Uh, gives a visual, visual indicator of the number of uh, needles that remain. The blue squares in the bottom left corner, which you have none of left, uh, show how many cacti you have left to complete your mission. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Go right for the needle. Immediately. Go, 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 go. And now collect boots. More boots. Good. Yay. Now you've refilled your bullets. Ah! Shoot. Shoot them. Oh! What are you doing? Oh, but you, you were distracting me. <laughs> you made it further. I did. I wonder oh, if yeah. This, once you figure out how it works. I wonder if this does or doesn't though. have ghost pixel. Ghost pixel. Ghost pixel. I'm not sure what ghost pixel is. There's a real pixel. Or that's Atari. Oops. Where is pixel? Glad he's not here. He's a bad, bad kitten. Ooh. Oh, run, run. Run. No lollygagging at the beginning. Ah, shoot no, that's some. Oh, I keep forgetting I can shoot. Ah, there we go. Okay. I can shoot. Every so often, you'll enter a dead end canyon that has no clear path between you and the water. If that happens, you'll automatically back up and find a new canyon with a better trail. Mm. You reckon there's about 30 canyons between you and your spaceships. So you made it to about 10. Go, get the cats. Get the cats. Oh, one left. Um. Uh, 
a strange dream. After drinking a bucket of water, you'll be sleepy. You'll find a safe cavern and doze for the night in the heat. Lately, you've been having strange dreams about relics from the old world. It's thrilling to touch them, but they quickly disappear. More importantly, in each dream you see a pile of shimmering needles. When you touch them, they disappear too. But each morning you are astounded to discover you've grown a few more needles, or replace some of the some of the ones you've lost in the canyons. This biopsychics phenomenon concerns you, but not enough to show mercy to the humans. Victory! You know that one night soon you will see the rocket ship. You trained with the finest cactus rocket uh, captains before they left. You're confident you'll be able to safely pilot your craft to your new home on Mars. Once you board your ship, you can set down your joystick and relax, knowing that you'll be home soon. Or if you press the joystick's red button, you'll continue your quest to evade and hunt down a much more difficult gang of humans. So I think they're just points. Difficulty levels. If you're new to the trails, be sure to s the left difficulty is switched set to B, novice. If you're finding your, bin bin your beginner's journey is too easy, yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> no. You have to just run by him on the left because there's more room. Yeah. But you're going to die. I, there are impossible levels, uh, I believe. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I... I... Uh, your supply of needles is very limited. Try to avoid the humans when you can rather than shooting them. Try trapping the shredder and shredder shooters in place where they can't reach you. The shooters will only fire if they see you or sense that you're in their row of the canyon. In later canyons, some humans have guns so powerful they can destroy. Oh. Where is it? Uh, in yeah. later canyons, some humans have guns so powerful they can destroy canyon walls. Remember your first showing? It looks like the needle bonus. Oh, but it's just a glitch. Oh, really? Uh, plus, there were some randomly generated levels that can't be completed. Yeah. Yeah. Very sad. Well, some start and end. Like, some, it comes up and, 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 and stops. So it must be one of those levels where it recognizes that that you can't get, you can't escape, yeah. right? Yeah, there's no clear path. Mm hmm Um... If you have a strange dream, always make sure to replenish your needles. Yes, definitely. There's a small time bonus for finishing each canyon. The faster you finish, the more points you earn. Okay, okay, okay. So go as fast as you can, if you can. If you can. So, scoring. Shooting a shredder, 50 points. Shooting a shooter, 100 points. Okay. Shooting a shredder shooter, 150 shredder points. Okay. So far, very logical. Yep, makes sense. Completing yep. a canyon. Yeah. 50 points. Not much. <laughs> star, so the canyon number plus the time bonus. Oh, so it gets higher and higher and higher. With the time bonus. Oh, time bonus. Okay. Which, retrieving a strange dream object, 500 points. Whoa, okay. Those are big. The dream number plus 500. So, oh, so wow. the canyon number, so it must depend on how many canyons you've completed. You get so the canyon higher, number higher, plus higher. 50 or the dream number plus 500. So you want to get as many of mm -hmm. these little cats Reaching as possible. Reaching your, your rocket ship, 30,000 plus 20,000 per remaining cactus plus 10,000 per remaining needle. Wow. What? Say that again, sorry? Well, if you, to reach your, your rocket ship, yes. you get 30,000 plus 20,000 per remaining cactus. Wow. Plus 10,000 per remaining needle. So that's how you get high scores. You've got to get to that rocket ship. Okay. So people, to get the patch... And that is on difficulty B slash novice. On difficulty okay. A expert, question mark. So question you obviously, mark. they're not giving away how much you're going you're, you're gonna to get for reaching your rocket ship. Okay. I don't um, think you can get a patch without getting a high score. Beginning, I mean, fish, finishing the game. Beginning a game in difficulty A expert, one point. So you get a little bit of extra points just for trying expert level. Oh. What level are we on? Are we in A? No, we're in B. Oh, yeah. So we're in the easier. Oh, really? Yeah. We're in the easier? Wow. <laughs> it's, it's challenging enough as it is, so yeah, it's no pretty kidding. good. What am I going to do? Use your needle. You can only shoot horizontally. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You're, you're screwed. I'm going to go downhill, shoot immediately. 
Yeah. I'll lose a needle as well, just by trying. It's not meant oh, there's to be a glitch. Easy. There's a little glitch down there. Where? In the bottom left. Oh, there is. And I'm gonna die again. Oh no, I can go here. And straight down. And straight you up. You can't shoot him. And straight down. No, you. I don't. I want to keep my needles. Mm -hmm much as possible yeah but at a strange dream you replenish them so to full i think so hmm i think if you it's do, to full I'll, then I'll... you should use them yeah yeah like would you it, will run out of them again replenish means full or you just get i would think so um It says replenish, replenish, so I think it probably pops it back up to 100%. Okay. So, definitely... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> On the bucket level, you should just shoot everyone. Oh! Oh, what? There you, go. you have to shoot those pretty much yeah unless you can trap them but so far they've been just like going straight oh. for me it's the bucket level not easy <gasps> okay watch it it was right down to almost yeah. nothing Let's see if it replenishes completely Oh, it's really far away. Good job. Oh, oh no, it oh. isn't full. It no, isn't full. so it doesn't. So you do get you do get some back, but it's yeah, not so full. Yeah, so don't. You have to okay. shoot them from the other side. Yep. Get the lowest one. Get yep, the get... lowest guy. Oh my god. Oh, he can he can... can shoot through things. Well, that's actually kind of better because then you can just kill him. I don't have to get as close to him. Yeah. There that is go. a good thing. Maybe that is a trick to get them to shoot walls. Uh... Yeah. Oh my god. I'm saving my bullets. Yeah. Well, if you don't need them. Hmm. 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 Shoot that one guy. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. Oh. There you go. There, yeah, you should be okay. Ah. <sighs> Whew. Challenging. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Run. Ugh, the lines. Drive me crazy. They must be... They don't shoot through the walls at lower levels. No, it says that on higher levels. They can oh, shoot I, the dirt? I shoot them. <laughs> so, let's read a little bit about this. About the patch. Now, you can get... Back in the 80s, Activision gave out patches for their games for getting high scores. And this one has a patch as well. Uh, join the Space Cactus cap Captains. If you score 80,000 points or more, you're eligible to join an elite group of space cacti across the galaxy. Take a photo of your score showing your official Space Cactus Canyon video game cartridge being played on an Atari video computer system and television. Email the photo to editor at atariage.com along with your name and postal address. We will en we'll enroll you in the ranks of Space Cactus Captains and send you an official membership patch. So how many levels did it say? 30? Oh, see, this is really... <laughs> Does a far Atari Vox or save key keep the high score? Well, I don't have it plugged in right now, so... It does not have the Atari Vox symbol on here, so I don't think it does save the high score. And it didn't say it in the manual. Oh, and there's a picture of the patch right there. If you guys can kind of see that. Let's see if I can go up without interfering. There you go. There's a picture of the patch. So, no, I don't think it does keep the high score. There's nothing in the manual, and usually they put 
Atari Vox supported on the front of the uh, manual or the box. So you'll just have to take a picture when you get a high score. Yeah, you get the huge points when you make it to the rocket ship. 30,000 automatic points mm -hmm. plus 20,000 for remaining cactus. Uh, cacti. Uh, and 10,000 for every needle. Get those kitties. Get those kitties. <laughs> get the points. So there's cupcakes, kitties, See, and shoes. How do you pass this guy? You can just... No, not really. I've, I swear I've done it. It's like you really do have to be further away. Yeah. Oh, well, the top guy didn't even shoot. No, that's kind of odd. Very weird. Hmm. Yeah, there's not many games that have randomly generated levels. And this is one of the few, and that's what makes this game... Interesting. Very interesting. Because every time you play, it's a little different. Unfortunately, you do, you do wind up with impossible levels. Yeah. Which is... Which is really but that, it, it also makes it challenging, you know? Well, should you should you end up with impossible levels? I think so. I think uh, it's kind of nice. I mean, cheaty. it makes the game a little... Unique. Every time yeah. you play... Okay, yeah. shoot that yeah. guy. I know. The problem is the direction you're facing. Can you go up, then down, and... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You just move that direction, then... Yeah, but it... I, I mean, I've done it a couple of times where I've been facing the wrong direction. Basically. Right. Choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. Oh my god. Always press to the right immediately. Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh, just. There you go. And plus, you want to save your oh. needles for the end of the game. Oh. oh. Do you need them for the end of the game? You get points. You get lots of points. 10,000 I mean. points every time. And you can get a patch. we got to get a patch. Uh -huh. How many levels were there? Mm -hmm. I think it's five every bucket, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> I sh it went through him. And he hit me. Really? He doesn't die that fast. Can you find how many levels there are? Does it say near? Yes, it did. I just can't mm -hmm. find it. I think it said 30. I wonder how it determines whether or not a maze is impossible, because it showed some that looked totally fine. say anything about number of levels but mm, it has it somewhere kitties and needles easily got that one sometimes they're <laughs> much harder than others where all the cats are all over the place lots of obstacles i don't i don't see anything about uh -huh. number i see no numbers i see no numbers sorry nope it's somewhere. I got him. I got him at short range. It's hard. You have to go. It is. But I hit it's... him, and he ran right into me. And I'm like, how, how, it, that was a little, little Oh, monkey. you I hit, hit him. him, and he kept coming for me, and, and then I died. And I'm like, but I hit him with my needle. So, I don't know. Anyway. Hmm. Mm. Running out of needles. Running out of needles. Tapped it. I do not know. Time to replenish. Okay, oh my god. There we go. Got them all. Oh, almost all of them. All of them? Oh, oh, you're gonna die! What are you doing? Not paying attention is what no, I'm doing. Oh, terrible. I have to get those guys pretty much. Can you read that? Oh, come on! Hmm? Mr. Beefy Morris, this was another one I was thinking about getting. Maybe I need to get an Uno cart. Oh, yep. Yep. Um, and they also dropped the price on the uh, Harmony carts recently, so mm. you may want to look into that. That's cool. Oh. <gasps> See, that's what happened what to me before. What is happening? It went right through him. Oh, so you there's know definitely why? a glitch. 
You know why? Why? Because he's on the same line as you and the shooter. Oh. And it passed through him when it was blinking. Oh, it was blinking. That's what happened to me. it's using the built-in... That's a glitch, in, for sure. It is. That's an error. That is a bug. It's using the built-in Atari hit detection. Okay. Which you can't use perfectly when there's flashing. Mm. Yeah, the Harmony is comparable dollars now. Mm. Um, yeah, you can buy a bare, bare board Harmony, save even more dollars. What, you put it save. in your own cartridge? Or? Uh, yep. Get it? You put it in your own cartridge and you have to hollow out the spot with the SD. Might want to get that guy. There you go. So that's that's the key is to. Mm -hmm. You have to jump up and down really quick. The direction yeah. first too. Yeah, but if you're moving, but if you don't have much space, if you're yeah. going up, you don't know what direction you're facing. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted that shot. Eh. <sighs> this is a lot mm. better when there's no. Mm. There you go. Oh, I don't have any lives left. You don't get extra lives in this game. Oh, that's a shame. Glitch. That guy didn't even shoot. Is it a glitch or is it a needle? <laughs> it's a glitch. Oh, that's perfect. This is perfect. Ooh, shoot through walls though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shipping to UK is quite high. Oh, yeah. Shipping from the UK to here is quite, quite high, high too. too. Yeah. Okay. I uh, think about getting a Harmony as I can't test any DPC stuff on the Uno at the moment. Yeah. So any DPC games, you have to get a Harmony. And any Uno games, you have to get a Uno. So mm. best of both worlds. <laughs> get both. <laughs> but yeah, they're not, they're about the, the, a little bit more than a cost of a game though. So they, mm. but you get unlimited games. You can play you can whatever you want on them, Play right? all the games you want mm -hmm. to download them all. All the uh, work in progress games. Some people release their games for people to play complete, to test out. Complete complete yeah. games for for free. Mm -hmm. So in this, always just press to the right immediately. Mm. Oh, you got them all! Good yep. job. Thirty-eight thousand. That was a good. Uh... Oh, good. oh, shooting! Yeah, but he oh, can't no. shoot through the. Okay, I'm gonna Ooh. have to shoot these guys. Oh, oh my God. good job. I think I'm near the You're end. You're doing I must very be. well. You are definitely doing very well. Yeah, yeah but I don't definitely. have any lives left. Ooh, scared. Oh. Oh, impossible. I have to bring him out. Oh. I'm going to well. run out of needles, though, because I have to shoot every a guy <sighs> every level. Unless you can trap him. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, you could dodge him. Yeah, you can yeah. dodge and trap. Oh, straight stream. Get your needles. Oh, oh, my God. They made it really hard. There you go. Good job. Oh. Cakes, cakes, cakes. cakes. Oh. I want my patch. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> Not so really. So close. Well, you're at 56,000. No, you play another round. I, w I need to find out how many levels there are <laughs> and count them. It's oh. driving me crazy. I did right. read it. All right. Do you remember? Do, does anybody remember what I said? Like 30 or you something. You read it? Yeah, I read it out at the beginning. But I can't remember. La, 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 la. Anyway, the thing I'm most excited about is a procedurally generated play field, something I haven't mm -hmm. seen in many other Atari games. From a programmer's perspective, I'm also pleased I crammed in four screens into the title kernel with Revenge's help. The game also has an expert difficulty that makes the game markedly harder while being playable. Uh, I played the game so much and know how it works, it's optimal strategies that it's hard to be objective. Is the balance of rules effective? Anything to make the game probably more compelling? No, it's really good. Except for the impossible ones. Those piss me off. Okay. How many levels are there? I did read it. Eventually, you'll make it to Mars. What? Did I not read it out? Somebody must remember. 
Maybe I didn't read it out. 30. There it is. 30 canyons. Now, I think there's... Oh, what happened no, there? No, no, I was I was Moved not, down and just sat Yeah, there. I was thinking and moving at the same time, which is never a good combo. <laughs> never, so. think and move. never think and move. Never think and move. Just move or think. Yeah. Run. So this is your second one? Yeah. Second straight stream? So this is like level 10 then. Get that boot. Oh, oh no. Almost. This is level 11. Oh, what are you oh, doing? I don't Careful. know. Oh, I got him just in time. I don't that know is, how I managed that. That was a difficult area on the, on the left to like, start oh, in. I was like, oh, I should have shot him right away. Ugh. Nuts. Yeah, don't hesitate. He's, he moves fast, that guy. <laughs> he does. He's coming at you with his machete, apparently. No, you can trap him up. Well, you have to shoot him eventually anyway, I guess. Mm -hmm. I've lost track again. Mm -hmm. You're good. Just have to move fast. Yep. Not so good. I will kill him. Poor dude. Nah, he has a machete. He's <laughs> got it out for me. And he's not even Whoa. passively. Oh, oh, Shoot him. oh what I didn't mean doing? to I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that. How did you make it through that? I don't know. <laughs> don't make me panic though, because it all goes to hell. <laughs> oh, cupcakes. <laughs> cupcakes. I used a Dremel on an old shell. Yeah, a Dremel would be perfect. That's exactly what you would need to cut. Into a cartridge shell. Um, or, whoa, a nail file and a little bit of work. I've done that before to alter cartridges. Oh, I didn't move fast enough. Nope. Took my hand off the control. Yeah. Last life. Oh. Hmm. Easy. Easy peasy. Oh, oh. What it, you wasted your... <laughs> no, because I couldn't move. I got caught on the edge. <laughs> yeah, or a file, yeah. I wonder if you can shoot. Can you shoot through things? Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't. Clear path. Yeah. Sometimes you get lucky. Yeah. Run all the way up. There go. I wish it had levels. Level number. I'll have to count when I'm playing. Go get those umbrellas. Almost got that last I one. I feel like it... Oh. You're pretty safe. Mm -hmm. Or not. Oh. No. Mm, quick. No. Oh, he shot. No, that's okay. That's okay. pretty good. So if you count the levels for me. Uh, okay. Even the ones you, you die at? Yeah. No, like every level I pass, not die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because it regenerates, so. This is level one. Yes, I, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> level two. Mm -hmm. Say it out loud. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. Oh, no. I will then. Level three. <laughs> uh, level four. <laughs> nope, that's level four. Five. <laughs> but so do funny. the buckets? I don't think the buckets count. No, they would count. So five, it's five and this is six. strange dream. Five strange dream. Oh, okay. So all we have to do is count the bucket ones. Is every five so, levels? Yes. So there are six of them. Six well, buckets. E every bucket you pass, you you pass six levels. Five. I'm gonna say five because well, it's five in a bucket, and there's thirty total. They wouldn't do some weird... That's or maybe they do five sets of six. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just count buckets. Okay. That's bucket number one. <laughs> That's bucket number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bucket one. Bucket one, yes, yes. <laughs> and it'd be six sets of buckets. Cats, cats. Help, help all the cats. No. Oh. oh. 
Strange Dream is the title screen kernel, as is the trails end and the title screen. Okay. He really doesn't like you. No, he wants to shoot right through that rock, but he can't. Doesn't have a good enough... Oh, my God. No. Waste. But there's 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 impossible levels. I mean, yeah, that's... I hate that's, that. But that's the challenge of this game. It, it's an not An impossible easy. level is not a challenge. No, it's, it, it's it is. It's a waste of a life. Because there's that element of um, randomness. Of randomness, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have shot. Well, uh, no, no, I, I could, shouldn't have shot that guy. You could go down. You could go down. Oh, see, facing the wrong direction. Oh, so close. Oh, you've no needles left. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I have to go down. Didn't oh, even shoot. He didn't shoot you. Is that a bullets like me? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Oh God, this is. I have no bullets. That's terrible. I'm a defenseless cactus. <laughs> so oh, you're dead. You are dead. <laughs> unless you can unless you can walk through walls. Uh nope. I cannot. You have to waste a life and Yeah. Re respawn. <sighs> I tried. That one you can do. Yay. Quite easily. Yay, needles. Oh. Don't get the needles. Get them. So this is number two. Two bucket number two, and I have a tiny amount of needles, so I have to ah uh, not shoot things as much as I can. I have oh, to shoot that him. guy. No, sometimes you do. It's okay if you're cornered. Yeah, you can. Oh, down this one you can get all the there way you there. Go. Shoot him. <laughs> Running out. I have to shoot him. Unless you can get him down to the bottom. Mm, no, no, it was just too, too open. All right, three. Three. Three? Three. You sure? Yes. I don't believe you. Get it? Get it? You need him? There now they shoot through walls. Yep. Can not cam. Only shoot. Only one cam shoot at cam. Oh. oh, I see. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? What is? What are you saying? <laughs> Yay! Um, shoot the, you might have to shoot I'm gonna shoot this guy. Shoot out the wall here. Give me a bit more room. I had to do that. Oh, that's good. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. You might be able to get past him. But the top guy, ugh. he'll shoot through walls though. I know. That's get him what to I'm shoot through do. walls. Not that guy. No, I want that guy to shoot through walls. No, no, but you want the 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 guy. And I want this oh, you were up there. You didn't even need oh. to do that. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. That's all good. Waste his bullets. That's Not okay. mine. Yeah. <laughs> this is very open. Oh, awesome. Yay. Now I'm almost probably up to full again. Now you're at four. Sure, are you sure? Yes. I swear it feels yes. like more. <laughs> yes, it's ah, ah. Go, 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 go. Oh, thank goodness. Now I'm pretty full. Yeah. Oh. oh, this guy shoots so fast. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 that was close. whoa, 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 no, no lives again. Oh, needles. It's so hard. Use your needles. Oh, man. Well, at least I can shoot far at him. Oh. Because he dodges. Oh, my God. He dodges with you. That's oh. terrible. I'm running out of, I've got like two left. Okay, you come up here. Oh. <sighs> okay, you come over there. Oh, you might be able to. If I go real quick. Okay. Whew. Oh, he's coming right for you. It's open. It's really oh, open. Oh, forgot oh. that he shoots. Damn it! <laughs> One more. One more? At least. Okay. <laughs> he's only made it to bucket four. 
Yep. Terrible. Well, you haven't made it past the, the guy who runs and shoots, because he's pretty challenging. Yeah, he is. But you did have like 56,000 points. <laughs> I mean, that was really good. I think you pretty much have to finish the game to get 80,000. Well, yeah, because you probably get the extra 30 at the yeah. end. Yeah. Which okay. would make sense. Bucket one. So I wouldn't be surprised if after... Oh, glitchy. Yep. Yeah. Um, mm. If after him, you're pretty much at the spaceship. Because it's unless unless it's him and the guys who shoot, yeah, there there must be another another round with the guy who runs and shoots at you and these guys in the background too. Yeah, I would, ah, I some I suppose to think that only one guy can shoot at a time. Oh. Sometimes making an upper guy shoot lets you pass a lower guy near the bucket. That would make sense. Ah, that, that would make sense. That theory makes a lot of sense actually, because we've seen. Yeah. The first first guy shoot and the and second, the second one, one, not. one not at all. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's fine when you're coming up. I yeah, but going, going down, down because you shoot from higher up on the cactus. Yes, I think. just yeah. a little bit higher up. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna have to shoot this top guy. Or the lower guy. No. No. Because I just want to easier to pass past that guy. That's true. Bucket two. Bucket two. The shoes. Rainbow shoes. Very colorful. Very colorful. Really nice. Wasting bullets. Sometimes you gotta. Mm -hmm. Yep, sometimes you do. Almost it just makes it so much essentially easier. Essentially, like, yeah. you have to do it. Because the guy's wide open. There's mm -hmm. no traps for a lot of these mazes. Oh, my God. Number three. Arena hey. Foot's back. Hello, Arena Foot. Welcome back. I yep. forgot what I was Don't doing. Don't hesitate. I know. <laughs> I know. That wasn't very many bullets. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not fair. Oh, Wade Rain is out of here. Have a good Friday Hi, night Wade by Wade Rain. Okay. I think you're screwed. Yeah. I should just... I, I think you're screwed in Only that from case. the bottom. Oh, oh. oh careful. Uh, okay, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Ah, easy. That's not too bad. Nice and easy. Nice there's and easy. If there's a sufficient amount of distance, then you're okay. Yep. Yeah. Must be the bucket. No, not yet. Oh, close. Nice, easy one. I think the next one is bucket four. Mm -hmm. Oh, a giveaway. Yeah. Okay, bucket four. Nice open. Ugh. Except when you get trapped. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Might be able to kind of block him. Get him, get him down. Yeah. yeah. The only challenge is when. It's open, he still fires. Oh, he's totally trapped. Mm -hmm. Good job. You get down there. No, not too far down. Not too far down, yeah. I accidentally put him down one too far. Oh, Muddy Funster. Oh, oh. God damn it. Your fault, Muddy. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh. Good night, folks. Nearly 4 a.m. Wow. Wow. Uh, James. Oh, yeah. Halloween show, I did get that message. I, <laughs> he says, was, my bad. No, was, it's not your fault. <laughs> I was slammed today, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have to shoot him up here. That's going to be hard. Ooh, good job. Bucket five. Is it five? Yes, yep. it is five. I've never made it this far. I think you have. 
No, I've ne- I don't think I've ever. You're passed. only at forty four thousand, and I'm and you're at uh, fifty six. And I think quick you, you get shooty guy and the guys kneeling and shooting right oh, next. You might be right. Yeah. Yeah, you made it to the presents or cakes. I'm not really sure. Okay, this guy. Oh no, it's just a shooty no. guy again. Well, he is difficult. Yeah, very. I'm gonna lead him down here. <gasps> oh, he can he shoot through walls. walls. <laughs> that's that's what it is. I know you've I know you've made it. I've to this never point. made it to this point. <gasps> oh, that was close. oh, that was so close. I just have to shoot him. Oh, he got you. Oh my God. Last How level. challenging. Oh, oh. <laughs> 63! Oh, that was so good. That guy's a whole nother level of yeah. difficulty. Good job, though. Oh, you're playing again. I got time. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. This guy just seems like lethargic in comparison to the <laughs> other one. He does. 63825. It's not 80,000. I want my patch. <laughs> <laughs> I want my patch. I'm almost done. I almost got the patch. Ugh. It's the bullets. You run out of bullets. I did a little better with bullets um, this last time. I didn't run out completely. Were you ever a Boy Scout? Did you have lots of patches? Yep. Uh, no. You weren't a completionist. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Getting those patches, some of them. Yeah. It's a lot of work. But I did try and get a bunch, and I got the ones I could. But yeah, um, yeah. I don't, I don't have any of my stuff anymore. Really? Your mom got rid of them, or she doesn't have anything of mine anymore? I don't think so. Oh, uh, she probably just got rid of it. Yeah, I'll have to ask. Mm. It doesn't seem like something I'd throw out. Ah, okay, I can do this. It's tough, but. So you start off with three lives? I haven't died yet. Right? No. Mm. I kept three lives almost all the way to the end. Oh, impossible. Ooh, I'm going to have to shoot this guy. On the top, yeah. Oof, I slipped. Ooh, good job. It's so difficult. Like, you have yeah. to do well, you get, millisecond timing. Yeah, you get... Uh, What is I supposed to say? I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking Since about? Since you read my post, you could have shot, not shot three times. What? You could have tried it two times. Oh, he's saying that we, mm -hmm. I, we gave, I gave up opportunities to use that tactic mm. of bypassing one person. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's still... It's still challenging, though. It's, uh... Sometimes I get all of them. I kind of feel um, like uh, it shortchanges you on the time. It's like the timer doesn't actually run to the bottom. Oh, on, yeah, on the it screen, almost does. it doesn't actually run right down, so it feels like you've got more time, but you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. It's it's just like a faking you out, you know. Fire, oh, firecrackers! Firecrackers! Halloween's crazy happening. Crazy people. We have a park, I think we've mentioned this before, like <laughs> right across the street from us. So certain times of the year, there's... Oh, see? He got... That, that, no, that had... The, you weren't on the same line as him. No, I was on the same line as the bucket in him. The him. bucket. That's why it was flashing, because there's... But you shot right through him. Yeah, because the bullet was not in the same spot at the same time as him while he was not flashing. I don't think it's the flashing. I it think is. he becomes invisible when he's in the same line. Well, he flashes. Yeah, not but, invisible. but the... The bullet doesn't hit him at all. Yeah, because the bullet goes so fast. Yeah. Anyway, you, you, you're you at another um, needle. Get the needle. Get it. No. <laughs> it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It doesn't go to zero. It needs to go to zero. I don't know why, but that bothers me a lot. <laughs> I feel like it should hit zero. It shouldn't be like... Okay, I suppose to here you go. Are you ready? You ready for this? Yeah, so it hit the wall and the other guy had time to fire. They had to be closer mm. together. Um, it's going to be a problem, maybe. I'm going to shoot the bottom one and then go straight up the right-hand side. Or no. No, 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 no. Did 
this is what I'm going to do. Get him to destroy that. That middle thing. Oh, this one? Yeah. Get out of the way. <laughs> and then uh, you can do a straight shot up. Uh, Possibly. Mm, or you might have to you might have, have to, to shoot the guy. third third guy. Yeah. Good then job. I can get past. Then I think you can probably. Yeah. There you go. <sighs> Yay. Thank you, game. <laughs> it giveth and taketh away. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and and the kitty taketh oh, and giveth. Hi, Speedy. You going to be cuddly? No, not like that. <laughs> No, sometimes he's funny. He'll sleep anywhere. Hi, sweetheart. Come here. Come here. Be a nice uh, kid. It's nowhere near the umbrellas for points. Oh. oh. Doesn't go down to zero. Okay, this is the second highest set. Okay. It's the, the shooter? Yes, but he doesn't shoot through walls yet. Yeah. Seems like easy in comparison. Oh, my God. So I can actually trap this dude. Mm-hmm. Because he can't shoot his way out. <laughs> as long as you're out, not traveling horizontally yeah. away from him. Oh, careful. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're not paying attention. I am not paying attention. Ugh. Hi. There's no reprieve. Yeah. Okay, last set. Woo! Do I have enough points? <laughs> I may not have enough points to get the 80,000. I think so. I think so. 36? Let's see. Get those presents. Rack up the you'll, points. Uh, no, you're already at. The presents are give you a lot. Kay. Oh, shoot him. <sighs> Ooh. I've got a lot of uh, bullets. Ooh, I okay. have to shoot these guys. Oh, good job. Like, there's no... There's no way there's around no it. There's no way. You yeah. just have to shoot them. I only have to have five bullets, though. Oh. And because you have to there's dodge only five these levels. bullets, too. They're pretty fast. And stay on the same line as him, though. Oh, we got you. Damn it. Yeah, because the bullet doesn't disappear just because he does. <sighs> One life left. Well, two. Two. Two lives. I don't know how many I've killed. Three? Four? I don't know. Three, I think. Oh, God. <gasps> uh. oh. oh, careful. You can't take a break. Oh, you're at the bucket. This might be it. <gasps> oh, look at that. 120,000. Yes. Oh, home. Woo! Good job. Good job. Atari is very proud. Are you proud, he's Atari? He's so proud of you. Yes, he's yes. purring. He's happy. Yes. Oh. <laughs> he's shedding fur everywhere. I earned my patch live. <laughs> Does that count? Do I have to take a picture? Um, You can take a screenshot, I'm sure. So there you go. I'll take a picture, Aww. just because they require a picture. Okay. They said they have to, you have to take a picture of the cartridge. Good job. And the score. Nice. So, how about the box, cartridge and score? So, there we go. This is the worst camera. that noise oh it's a popcorn <laughs> sounds like static should be good oh that's a blurry score it's better there we go both of that should add up to a patch if they have any left yeah <laughs> they may not have any left because well. it's not an impossible game it's not like oh that's way too hard you can't get that patch mm. I was able to get it in an hour, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, about an hour of playing. So they may not have patches left. This was released well, you can, you can, about you, a year and a half ago. It says, no, it's 2017. Yeah. yeah. Early, I think it was, no, it was Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2017. So a year. A year ago. Yeah. There so mm, patch you definitely. Try. You, you can think, try. You think I'm supposed to? There's a patch. <laughs> still left hopefully, hopefully. al hopefully. still has some yes thank you mr beefy morris i'm yeah. glad you enjoyed our yeah. stream it was fun that it was, was fun. fun that is a fun game that, that is, is definitely a fun game yeah I'm, i wish i didn't wait so long to buy it but um shipping's expensive to get <laughs> well that's true yeah I that's why we run up. down um once I, a year 
we we run down to uh, Portland and That's pick right. up a bunch of games. Straight because, from out. Yeah, shipping is is very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that is it for today. Um, next episode is actually the Halloween episode. Yes. It'll be on Halloween. Woo. Are you going to be joining us? Oh, sure. Not yeah. Please. Sitting upstairs. Well, you're doing it in the, in the, uh, in the evening, evening right? six, six o'clock. Yeah. Six yeah. to eight. I'll join you. Yeah. Um, so it'll Come be on, on uh, Wednesday, October 31st. Mm -hmm. I will be dressed up. Will you dress up again? Sure. Okay. I don't know if Erlen he was thinking about dressing up. He may, but so he but may. that's his choice. It's so. his choice. Yeah. <laughs> no um, pressure there. Four title screens, that's a first in a game. Oh. <laughs> four full screens. Oh, I don't know. What about that um Wumpus game? That had a lot of big title screens too. Um oh I suppose it doesn't know if there are any patches left. Anyway, I earned a patch. Whether I get the patch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll make I've, you. I'll make you. A patch. I've seen at least <laughs> five or six people in the forums post their picture of patches. Cool. So that's very cool. I'm. I would think more people would post their patch if they got it, mm. in that thread because you know people are part of the community. It's yeah. they're not very separated. Like if somebody's buying a homebrew game, mm. they're probably on the forums. Yeah. In some way, yeah. most people would or, be. Or, or, or peering in there every once in a while, right? Oh, the Wampus was just playfield graphics. Oh, that, I see. That's what you're terming as uh, title screen. Using uh, Batari basic titles, like detailed um, titles, mm. like Space Can Cactus Canyon. Um, so, yeah, we have a whole bunch of uh, Halloween games. Mm -hmm. uh, next episode, um, we have some homebrews. We have tire tracks. And we're actually, oh, that bad cat. Did just, he just run, run away with a pop? Just popcorn? stole a popcorn. Is he actually going to eat yeah, the whole thing? Yeah, he's eating the popcorn. He'll eat anything. He's eating hot sauce, stuff with hot sauce on it. <laughs> that cat eats anything. That's yeah. why he's a bit, uh, he's a a bit little, tubby. He's a little tubby. That's okay. He's better than he was. We put yeah. him on a diet. He, when we first got him. He was chubby. He was a chubby cat. He was really Solid. chubby, like a kitten. He was a chubby, chubby kitten. kitten. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, he, and he couldn't jump properly. All those, and... all those concepts of of like obesity and and being genetic like with that guy he was clearly a chubby chubby kitten like yeah. he had that gene so chubby chubby yeah oh foot. james that's james me did. Could, could yeah. put a, j, a j beside it yeah. it's uh yeah it's it was uh, good. patchworthy patchworthy <laughs> yes um because um you need eighty thousand for a patch so that's actually probably a pretty good score yeah um yep, yep, yep. Let's see what the other people uh, got for their scores, mm -hmm. actually, because I'm interested to see what. Because I think I'd I had no lives left, so I didn't get any bonus for lives, and those are thirty thousand each. Mm. So I'm sure other people did oh way God. better than that. Where's your brother? Let's go get you. Oh, don't leave right now. No, no, no. It's no, the no. end of the show. Pixel. <laughs> Pixel. Oh, she's getting the other cat. Pixel. So let's Pixel. just check out some of the other scores people have gotten let's see if i can get them to come down oh people are posting their oh they didn't put their... oh cute yeah there's the patch and there's the letter yeah but they're not posting their scores they're just posting their letters damn it i guess that makes sense so nobody else can he just grabbed another piece of popcorn oh my god that cat <laughs> No, it's not saying what people's scores are <laughs> because they're not going to post their score because then somebody else can take that and send it to them for a patch. That's why they have to keep the, the picture secret. But they mm. can post their score. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what it is in comparison to other people's scores. So mm. it's, it's probably low because I didn't get the bonus for lives. I got a bit of bonus for the... You get bonus for every live you have, but you didn't have any? I didn't have any. You had zero. Okay. Um, but I did have some needles. Mm. So I got 10,000 for each needle. So I made had three or four, maybe? Oh, well, that's pretty I good. I don't know. That's pretty good. So I got some extra bonus there. Yeah, you get 30,000. Above what you had, you were at 50-something. 30? Yeah. Okay. And then probably another three needles, maybe? Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so, yep. So the games we played today were what were they peril very awesome mm -hmm. maze puzzle action game it looking was fun looking forward to more from him from mm -hmm. both of those games that he's made they're both very similar one's a jumping guy and one's a helicopter mm -hmm. 
Um, and Reflex, sadly not finished. I think if the sensitivity was just turned up a bit, then the game would be amazing. The game is good. Yeah. Great graphics, but it's so hard to it control. It is hard. It is hard to control. Hard to control. Yeah. So but somebody interesting. Could, Definitely yeah. an interesting game. Like the concept of it is really good. Yeah. So yeah. if somebody could hack that game and just turn up the sensitivity somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, it would, would be great. It'd be a, yeah. um, a really good game. And let's just take off the pole there. It's done. Um, and then, of course, Space Cactus Canyon. It's always nice being able to complete a game, but it also be challenging at the same time. Mm -hmm. And the ramp up is really good. Yeah, it's got a good difficulty. difficulty ramp up. And and there is expert. We didn't play that expert. So you that's that's um, apparently the score you get from that is Much even more. even bigger. But what so. was the change when it's on expert? I don't know. Do you want to try? Just quickly. Yeah. yeah. Because I did shoot faster the guys move faster maybe I guess. there's two of them who knows if you find the beginner's journey too easy why not move the left difficulty to a to a so that's let's just try it really quickly here curious yeah let's see what is different start off with one point oh he's fast he's <laughs> definitely faster Am Are I you fast? faster? I think I'm faster. You're faster too. So everything's just sped up a little bit. Possibly. I'm not gonna play the whole game. No. But you kind of get get past a couple of waters. The yeah, because yeah, I want to see what the shooting. Maybe you does. have three times the number of shooters. Or two times. I'm out of bullets. There's less bullets. Oh, you're out of bullets. I'm already out of bullets, so uh, I'm gonna die. Like. No, you're not gonna die. <laughs> it's gonna be very difficult. Well, you could have done it there. <sighs> Um, wow. No, you can trap him. Uh, yeah, if yeah. you br bring him there down. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Why is that flashing? I don't so know. So there's some... Glitchiness there. Yeah. He... They're both they're both flashing. Yeah, because he, he's not actually occupying the same space no, as the bucket. No, no. There's some weirdness going on there. Their overlap. He's too cautious with the overlap. Mm. But that could be basic. I wonder if you have less time to get the... Oh, you do? Oh, my God. Okay. This is crazy. Stop it. So how do they shoot faster? No. Those guys seem to be the same. Hmm. Because they, they could only shoot faster. There's not much. No, they're about the same speed. Yeah, so they haven't changed. So you have less bullets. Mm -hmm. You move faster. The guys that move move faster. Mm -hmm. You have less time to get new bullets. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is, yeah. Oh, Batari Basic needs more than seven lines. Um, oh, for drawing? Okay. So that's why there's an overlap. There's no overlap between those two things, but they're a little bit further away. Mm -hmm. The water, vertically. So there, there's the difference. Uh, that would be extremely challenging. Yes. Winning definitely. that. Definitely, yeah. I don't think I could I do that. I think you could do it. I think you could do it. Uh, with a lot of A little of bit work. of practice. Because... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Atari's back. He's back at the end of the show. Very cuddly right now. Oh, good yeah. kitties. You can hear him purring away. I'm sure you can hear him through the mic too. Maybe. Yeah. So if for anybody who's joining us late, the uh, interview with John Shampoo is out. You can check that on YouTube or on Twitch where you're watching this. Mm -hmm. Unless you're watching it later, then you're watching it on YouTube, YouTube or <laughs> Twitch. Um, but it's on both anyway. Um, so make sure you subscribe to Twitch and YouTube so you do get alerted for the other two interviews I did at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, which is Albert Yaruso from Atari Age and Dan Kitchen, Dan Kitchen? from yeah. Tiki Vision Games. Or Tiki Vision. Is it Tiki Vision Games? It's at least Tiki Vision. Yes. <laughs> um, talking about his two new games coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, one he rescued from his storage. Yes. Which was Keystone Capers 2, which is now Gold Rush. And Bon Voyage, which is his other game. And he plans on putting out a lot of games coming mm -hmm. out. He's got big plans. So stay tuned for that, uh, for that interview. And you can find out more about that. And how Al makes games and puts mm -hmm. out all these games from somebody programming game, a game like this um, into a box and a cartridge where it gets into somebody's hand. 
Very um, cool. So you can find out all about that. And so they should be uh, very interesting uh, if Al doesn't walk off the screen. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. There yeah. might have been an issue with uh, no, us he, going off screen. He, you were and shifting you're not paying over. attention. No, I was paying attention. You have to shift the camera. Yeah, but the camera was kind of rigid. And at oh. one point I moved it and moved, it was kind of jerky. So, oh. yeah. Maybe I can edit that so it looks okay. it's not too bad there's just one point where i've done that so i i think it'll yeah. be fine it'll be fine okay yeah good. yeah <laughs> don't worry it'll I be fine i might zoom in and reposition but it, it, it it's not it's that not big terrible. a deal yeah it's okay. not that big a deal so that's it from yeah. us and we will see you with erilyn on wednesday yes. october 31st halloween yeah. so everybody out there dress up even though we can't see you yeah or at least type what you're wearing and tell us how much candy you gave out <laughs> yeah we have a lot of candy and we yes. never have anyone knock on our door so we're gonna have a lot of leftover candy six years we've been here we've yep. given out a total of zero pieces of candy yeah it's true <laughs> never so you never know we might yeah. be in the middle of a live stream and the doorbell rings it's yep. always possible and one of us not playing will yeah. have to go up yeah so good night lord monkus i supposed to arena foot mm -hmm. mr beefy morris uh nin nin nintencade 360 that's a new name Thank you very much for tuning in. Muddy Funster, Wade Rain, uh, John Von Neumann for making that awesome game. And I will definitely fix up this RF interference. Retro Happy Hour, Charles and Check, of course, for subscribing again uh, with Twitch Prime for the second month in a row. Uh, Tiki Dan K, if he's still watching. A lot of people are east coast but it is friday so there's no excuses yeah <laughs> you can stay up late, late come on fridays um i think that's all the john von newman yeah i suppose i think i said i suppose a splendid Nintendo nut Gate. was here and yes. that's the end of the scroll there so yeah great and atari spot's been in and out yes and uh Lord so Marcus. thanks everybody yeah. for another great yes. episode thank you for joining us we always like having you uh Yes. Join. Sit in and chat and um, watch the games watch, and give us watch hints. Watch us and, uh, play and yeah. Yeah. It's a lot and, of fun. Uh, we'll play some new games next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Sure. Bye.